Number 1. Eritrea has never held a presidential or national election since independence. It is a one-party state, which gained its independence in 1993 and has had only one president since then. Number 2. Eritrea has no official language. It is a multilingual state, and its constitution confirms that all languages are equal in the country. Number 3. One of the world's oldest hominids was discovered in Eritrea. A million years old skull, with traits associated with both Homo sapien and Homo erectus, was found in the Afar region in Eritrea. The skull provides a connection between the earliest anatomically modern human beings and the hominids. Number 4. Women played an active role in the country's war of independence, with over 30% of the members of the Eritrean freedom fighters being women. This group has had the highest percentage of women than all the other liberation movements on the planet. Number 5. Eritrean society is a highly social and deeply integrated society. Thus, there is so much openness between friends and relatives, such that everyone among them is considered part of the home. As such, there is no need for special preparation to welcome one. Number 6. Having a long Red Sea coastline with warm waters, Eritrea is a major attraction zone for rare species of fish. There are 14,000 known fish species living in Eritrea's waters, and 17% of those fishes are found nowhere else. Number 7. The people of Eritrea are not only oppressed by the government politically, but they also have no access to the information. All the media channels and enterprises in the country are state-owned. Number 8. Eritrea, after Egypt, has the second highest archaeological historical discoveries in Africa. The number of archaeological sites in the country are as high as 80,000. Number 9. Eritrea is the world's first country to allocate an entire coastline as a reserve. The Dalek group of islands in the country is world-renowned for their pearl production and are largely uninhabited. Number 10. Over the years, Eritrea is one such country where a number of elections have been regularly scheduled, but none have actually ever been held. The first such scheduled election was in 1997, but eventually all such arrangements had been cancelled. That was Eritrea for you. Do like, share, and subscribe to our channel, Explified.